What's going on, y'all? It's the Kid J. Nolan here. Now, as y'all should know, I've been following this whole Doja Cat album rollout ever since she was dissing her fans on threads, album cover, attention dropped. I even rapped on the attention instrumental. If anybody's interested in hearing that, I could drop that for y'all. That's neither here nor there. But now we've got a new single out called Demons. I said I wasn't going to listen to it, but there seems to be a little bit of controversy out there. People think that she's out here dissing Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Right. There's some speculation going on because she did make some comments in the second verse of the song talking about I'm the new one that everybody slaps. Y'all mad now. All of this different type of stuff. So people are thinking that she's taking some shots at the rap girls. Doja Cat has remained pretty mum about comparisons to other rappers and things like that. But she did come out and make a point to say that she does not diss any of the artists that she looked up to. She wanted to make it very clear that she's not dissing anyone in particular, especially not quote unquote legends like the Cardi B's, the Nicki Minaj's that created and paved the path for her to be able to walk through. Because of course, before Nicki Minaj, before some of the other artists out there, the ladies that did it without them laying the groundwork, we may not have ever had a Doja Cat. We hear a lot of Nicki Minaj influence in the way that Doja articulates her rhymes the way she speaks. She definitely has quite a bit of New York swag for a girl from the West Coast. So all of that is very plausible. But here is what Doja had to say to the fans. In a series of Instagram stories, she says, people don't want to accept I'm dissing them. So they try to pin it on Cardi, Nicki, and Meg and every other female rapper. I don't diss rappers. I diss critics. Stay bored. Stay reaching. She continued, I don't diss people I'm inspired by. I don't diss people I look up to. I don't diss people who don't attack and harass me every day. Y'all do. She doesn't. They don't. Y'all are the problem. So she's making it abundantly clear that she's still not fucking with the critics. She's still not fucking with the so-called fans that are calling her out left and right. The so-called fans that are critiquing her every move and those that are trying to get her canceled or trying to get her removed from her spot in the game. She's taking aim at all of those people. This is actually a very popular formula, uh, most blatantly used by Eminem, who if you listen to the rhyme inflections on attention, you could tell that she studies him pretty closely. She's going the controversial route. You know what I mean? With this new album rollout, you can tell that she's definitely going for a more boisterous outlook. She's deliberately hitting people's pressure points on attention. She did the rap thing, but she talked about people uh, trying to make fun of her bald head. She said it matched her coochie. She made reference to the people out there that were saying that she's trying to sound like Nicki Minaj, pointing out the people that didn't say that she rapped or didn't say that she could rap with this new single demons. She doubles down on those things. She's taking imagery that's going to be shock value, dressing up as a demon, using classic horror movie tropes, you know, really cheesy, very campy vibes in the video. But it makes sense because she knows that's an easy way to get people's attention. It's an easy way to get people talking. And that's the Eminem approach. You know what I'm saying? Make it look like or make it seem like you don't want people talking, but you're going to do everything in your power to do just that and then criticize what everyone has to say. So I've seen this play around before numerous times. I'm not surprised by it, but I know a lot of new age hip hop fans. They weren't around for that. This might be your first time at the rodeo. The last time we really seen somebody do it this well was a young Tyler, the creator, and he's far removed from that persona nowadays. So, of course, Y'all may not be well versed in this, but that's why I'm here to give y'all a little bit of information. Now, that's not to say people's thoughts about the whole Nicki Minaj situation are unfounded or out of nowhere. Right. Because there was a time when her and Nicki did have some sort of discrepancy. Nicki Minaj has even spoken on it um, a while back in, in 2021. She explained why she declined getting on the feature for getting to it with Doja Cat. And she just said, the truth is she asked me to get on that song. It's not that I'm too busy at all. It's just there were middle people involved in that situation. So I told her if it was like how me and Bia were direct and we dealt with each other directly, it would be different. But I don't love that song because I didn't think I could bring anything to it. So I asked them to send me something else. I think that was the second song they sent me, but I asked them to send me something else and they didn't send me anything else. It's just that if I don't feel like I could bring something unique to the record, I don't want to do it anymore. So right now there are a lot of artists. I'm talking about artists that I really like that asked for us to do a feature. And I just told all of them like, yo, let's really get the right thing. Cause right now it's a different everything for me. I don't want to just do shit just to do shit. And especially with artists that I love and stuff, I really want to make a moment with them. That's going to last. These are not the words 
of beef necessarily, but it is some subtle shots, right? Because when you actually let the public know that an artist that's trying to work with you has sent you multiple songs and you've declined it, people are going to go off on their own tangent. They're going to create their own narrative and they're going to think, okay, the reason why you're not working with this person is because you really don't like them. You're secretly jealous of them. You're studying those songs that they sent you and you're going to go out and try to recreate your own version of that. Because now today in social media and just with everybody having an opinion on music and on their favorite artists and on their favorite people in general, these are the types of narratives that sprout out of the sky. In other Doja Cat news, we also know that the album cover that she had the other day was shrouded in controversy. Dusty Ray, the graphic designer that worked on the album cover, gave her and a band called Shaver the same exact album cover. Doja Cat took the high road and she decided to create a new album cover. It still has a spider on it, but it's not the same spider. Doesn't have that pinkish tint to it. A lot of people were actually trying to compare that to Nicki Minaj saying that she was inspired by the pink print. I don't know about all that, but it seems that fans and, and spectators alike are still not completely satisfied with the imagery on this one. People have been in the comments for Doja Cat saying, Updated one more time, Bestie almost there. Somebody else said, just use the original Scarlet pick from the Attention Music video that you posted. That gave more of a vibe, not gonna lie. A third person wrote, we meant change the cover to a sickening photo of yourself, not make it a worse painting. I'm actually so upset right now. As of right now, we still don't have an exact album release date for Doja Cat. We got the new song, Demons. It's doing really well. Um, it's number one trending on YouTube as we speak. Not my cup of tea necessarily, but she did have some lyrics in there that were very intriguing to me. And although people thought she was dissing Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, there seems to be someone else on the radar. So as we look at the second verse in Demons, we have Doja saying, I'm a puppet, I'm a sheep, I'm a cash cow. I'm the fastest growing bitch on all your apps now. You are tired of me because I'm on your ass now. You are mad at me because I am all they slap now. So... There's some people that think she's going at the bigger artists or the artists that were big before her. I can nap now. Lots of people that were sleeping say I rap now. We've had that discussion. People thought that she was more of a pop artist, more of an R&B singer than a rapper. She's come out deliberately stating I am a rapper. I'm going to prove to you motherfuckers that I rap because I'm going to do it all over the album. Lots of people's hopes and dreams are finally trash now. Lots of people say they met me in the past now. I done took the spotlight and made them black out. Mm. I done took the whole and blew my back out. That's some other shit. That's, you know what I mean? We ain't even going to go that far. But the main line is lots of people say they met me in the past now. I done took the spotlight and made them black out. There's some speculation going around and it seems very plausible that she's actually talking about the pop singer by the name of I Am Key. Now, I Am Key came out and called out Doja last year, basically saying that she was copying her aesthetic. We've been seeing Doja go bald. She took her eyebrows off. She's doing the weird alt girl thing where she was trying to be more of a vixen, the it girl thing. Now she's going anti-industry, anti-everything. And she also says that uh, she met Doja Cat about a year ago at an event and Doja was extremely rude to her. Immediately after the song dropped, all of I Am Key's social medias turned black. It can also be said that in every video from Doja's new album, from attention to the newly released Demons, you can actually see that she's used eyes and placed subtle disses to I Am Key because I think I Am Key's logo is that eyeball, you know what I mean, which is on the back of her head in the actual Demons video. So it seems that she's not attacking the legend. She's not attacking the women out there in the hip hop world that are firmly cemented that she may have high levels of respect for. It seems that she's taking aim at I Am Key, which I'm not surprised by because everybody that's taking shots at Doja, especially the fans, especially the people in the public that are forming opinions around this whole rollout, she's throwing shade and throwing fireballs at them. Of course, with this new Scarlet album coming on the way, it may be filled with even more jabs. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments though. Is she taking shots at I Am Key? Is she really going at Nikki? There's some people that seem to believe she is. There's even a line in there talking about how Percocet got you playing with your nose, which everybody seems to think Nicki Minaj does use cocaine. She's vehemently denied it, but the way that she acts sometimes, you just never know. So let me know what y'all think. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates, and I will see y'all on the next one, all right? Much love and respect, y'all. Peace.